Welcome back everybody, How To Texture You here with a perfect video and showing you how to get Pokemon Go spoofing onto any iOS device. This uses iPogo and it will never get revoked and it is completely free. So this is a full tutorial and it's quite a long one so stay tuned for the whole video. If you're brand new to our channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, set up that notification bell and check out our channel for loads and loads of important videos. Before we get into this whole video, talking of those important videos, once you've got this tweet hack version of Pokemon Go, you must watch the videos in the description on how to keep it, use it safely, and the best settings for it. So three videos to check out. They'll also be in a playlist as well for ease for you guys. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this for you. We're going to get iPogo if you're not sure what that is. Basically, as you can see on the screen, it allows you to teleport around and use a joystick and set up different sort of random routes, etc, etc. We have a whole video on that as well. Now we're going to go ahead and get this for you. And you're, we are going to use something called Alt Store. Alt Store is the signing store which allows you to use your very own Apple ID to sign apps. So no need to wait for any other alternate signing store for, to do that. So which means it will never get revoked by Apple. So we need to go ahead and get this. Now, to get this on your device, you are going to need a computer, whether it's a Mac or a Windows, you are going to need to get this with a PC. If you haven't got a PC, check out our links in the description for the latest no PC methods, but they can be revoked. This is a no revoke method, so it will never get taken down by Apple. You always get to keep it. So without any further ado, get your computer ready and let's go ahead and get the computer stuff sorted before we get iPogo. Over to the computer stuff. Let's go ahead and get Alt Store onto your devices. So as, as you can see, this is the PC part. This is either using a Mac or a Windows 10. If you're using a Mac, then stay tuned. And at some point I'll say, if you're using a Mac, do this. And you need to be using Windows 10. Anything Windows 8, 7 or lower, unfortunately this doesn't work for you. Um, but let's go ahead and get your device sorted. So the very first thing, obviously connect to Wi-Fi, very important. And then the next thing you're going to need to do is have iTunes and iCloud installed as a direct install, not as a Windows app. That is because if you use a Windows app from the Windows Store, it doesn't work. So this is really, really important. If you go to the link in the description, it is the official iTunes and iCloud download store, and you're going to need to choose either your 32-bit or 64-bit device. If you're not so sure what um, computer you have, if you go down to the bottom and type this PC, right click that and then go to properties you can then see what operating system you are currently running mine is a 64-bit operating system so once you know what operating system you are using you can then choose which one is relevant to you click on the download button either for 32 or 64 and then it will start to download to wherever it saves for you mine automatically saves to my desktop yours might also automatically download to your downloads folder within your documents so wherever it downloads to what you need to do is run it when it's ready install iTunes and then you're good to go. And then you need to also do the same for iCloud. However, iCloud is a little bit different. Click on the iCloud link and then click on iCloud for Windows. This will take you to another page where it will try to get you to install it from the Microsoft Store. We don't want to do that. Okay, so you need to go down here to where it says download iCloud for Windows on an Apple's website. Now, it says Windows 7 and Windows 8 actually also works for Windows 10. So you need to right click this and then click open in new tab. And for some reason that starts the download. If you try and click on it normally, it doesn't work. So right click on it and then open it as a new tab and it will start to download iCloud. Again, that will download to wherever your downloads go, either to your desktop where I like to put them or to your downloads folder on your computer. So run those, make sure you have iTunes and iCloud installed on your device, not as a, as a Microsoft Store app, but as a normal app. So that's the very first thing you need to do. If you were doing this on Mac, then you are completely fine. You don't need to do anything. You can have the normal installs. Now, the next thing to do is go and get Alt Server. Now, you need to go to altstore.io. Again, the links will be in the description. And here's where the differences are. Mac, you can, you can download via this one. And then Windows, obviously Windows 10, you download it via here. Now, Windows Server is the way of getting Windows. Um, so Alt Store, Alt Server is the way of getting 
alt store onto your device. So you need to download Windows. If you just click it, it will then start to download for you in the bottom corner. Obviously, I'm using Chrome here. If you're using something else like Edge or Firefox, if they're even still a thing anymore, um, I would always recommend using Google Chrome because it's easier to download things. So Alt Installer has downloaded. Again, if it's already downloaded to your Downloads folder, I would move it to the desktop just to make it easier for you to manipulate it about. So what you would want to do is this is a zip folder. OK, so I want you to right click it and then click Extract here. All right, so that will then extract both folders, fol files onto your desktop. You can then right, double click the setup.exe to start installing Alt, Store, uh, Alt Server. So you can click Next. Then you can click Next because that's just installing it. And then click Next again. Wait for it to install onto your computer and it has been successfully installed. So you can close that here. Now, obviously, there's no way of running this because it's not an actual app. So the first thing you're going to do is type in search Alt Server. OK, you'll see there it says Alt Server, which is an app. So you can click it or press Enter. And at the bottom right hand corner, you will see this diamond shape. OK, this diamond shape is really, really important. That is Alt Server. Here's where we can now plug in our device. So I'm going to just plug in my device now. So you plug in your device ready to go. And then you want to go to iTunes. So go and open up iTunes and wait for it to open up. iTunes is notoriously slow on Windows machines, so we'll just wait for that to open up. Now, here's where you need to trust either your computer trusting your device or the other way around. Um, I've got the latest iOS 14.4. Oh, there's a new update. I'm running 14.3 at the moment. I'd, I'll do that later, but this works. OK, so again, here's it syncing. So it's all trusted. If you need to trust it or put in any details, then please make sure you do that. Because what I want you to do is then go to that's fine. Go to your device at the top left hand corner. And then underneath all of your details, you need to scroll down and click sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. That needs to be ticked, OK? So tick it and then click sync and apply and you're good to go, OK? So you can click done, make sure that that's all ticked. Now, I like to leave iTunes open just because sometimes there are, um, this actually fixes problems if there are any. So just leave iTunes open for now and you can minimize it. Now we can go down to the bottom right hand corner again and where you see your little diamond shape there, you can right click it so right click the diamond or just click it normally and then install store and you will see your device there. If you can't see your device or anything, you haven't then trusted it before. So you need to make sure it's all trusted. So click on install Alt store and you'll have your Apple ID and password. Now you need to put in your real Apple ID and password because what happens is it allows you to use your Apple ID and password to then um, sign different apps. OK, so I'm just going to put in mine now. Here we go just so you it's perfectly safe and then click install. So we'll wait for that to happen. And then at the bottom right hand corner, hopefully there will be something apps and apps with all store other devices will stop working. Do you want to continue? Yes. OK, so click OK. And in the bottom right hand corner, we will see that installing Alt Store is happening to my phone. So momentarily on my phone, you will see that Alt Store starts to open. Shouldn't take too long because it's not a massive file, so it shouldn't take too long. It gets done pretty quick, pretty quickly. And there we go. It has been installed onto my device. Now I have the opportunity to install loads of tweaked apps onto my device running perfectly. Now that we've got Alt Store onto your device, let's go ahead and try and open it. Because if you try and open it, it says it's untrusted. So you need to go to settings. Now go down to general, scroll all the way down to where you see device management and you'll see your, your username for your Apple ID. So click trust and then trust. And then when you go back, Alt Store will now open onto your devices. If you'd like to send, uh, allow notifications, you can. And to access other devices on your network, click OK. So it can then connect to your, your um, laptop or computer. OK, so we're ready to go to get all of those tweaked apps onto your devices. Now that you've got Alt Store onto your device, let's go ahead and get iPogo onto your device. OK, so the very first thing you're going to do is go to Safari and then you are going to go down to iPogo.app. So go to iPogo.app and hit go. Now on the bottom, top right hand corner there, you'll see the three lines. Tap on that and then go to installation and then iPogo download options. 
IPOGO IPA file. And then it will come up with this download page here. Okay, so click on download and in the top right hand corner, you will see IPOGO start to download. Again, this will take, well, doesn't matter however long your uh, Wi-Fi takes, so, but it shouldn't take too long. So we'll just wait for that to happen, okay? So we'll just wait for that to go. Once you've got iPogo, make sure you check out our links in the description. We have really important ways of spoofing and doing it safely and also the best settings for iPogo. So check those links out in the description once this has worked for you. And of course, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to show your support. So this shouldn't take too long now. We're nearly there, just over halfway through. So what I'll do is I'll skip ahead and just finish up when it's done. Okay, so we're nearly done. Just got a couple more megabytes to go before it has finished. And there we go. So it's completely finished now. So the next thing you're going to do is go to our alt store. Now, before you do this, what you need to do is make sure you have plugged in your device to your computer. Go down to the bottom right hand corner and make sure the alt server is running. If it's not, then go search for alt server and make sure you tap on it to make it run. Check it in the bottom right hand corner to make sure it is running. So that is very important. Make sure you've got that done. Now you can go to my apps and then you can click on the pass button and then you can choose the iPogo IPA that has been downloaded in the recents or you can browse your uh, whole device to find it if needs be. So go to recents, tap on it and then it will start to install on your device. You'll be asked for your username and password for your Apple ID. So put that in. Again, it's the same one that you used to install Alt Store onto your device. So check that out, go and put that in. This is completely safe and it all it does is uses this Apple ID to sign the app so that it opens on your devices. Without that, it will not work and it will just crash. So make sure you do that click get got it and then wait for it to install onto your device if there's any errors that happen here at the bottom uh, of the screen if it says cannot find alt server that means that you haven't started alt server on your computer and if it says there uh, couldn't uh, if there is another error that occurred then i would really recommend plugging your device in while signing okay so just leave it just let it go and it will eventually get there. At the top, there's that green progress bar that you can watch if needs be. Just watch it go along. It shouldn't take too long. It probably takes around sort of 30, 30 seconds to a minute to get it done. So go ahead, just keep watching it. And again, once it is done, check the links out in the description because they are extremely important. All right, so this shouldn't be done. This should be done soon. So I'm just going skip, to skip ahead again until it's nearly complete. Okay, it's nearly done there, guys. Very, very close to the end. Very nearly updated. You can see it's creeping along. And there we are. It is complete. Now, before you go away, make sure that you have a look there where it says expires in seven days. We have a whole video on what that means. And this will run out in seven days unless you do not follow that video. So go and check that out because it is extremely important on how that works because you need to understand that perfectly okay go ahead check that link out in the description and i will show you how to keep this app working with no revokes whatsoever thank you very much for watching guys check the links out in the description on how to use ipogo safely how to get the best settings and most importantly keep this app forever thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you all very very soon